<clears throat> All right, just a quick test here. We are live. Let's see how long the delay is. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we're good. <clears throat> we're gonna mute the tab. <clears throat> we are live and we're gonna share the stream to web talk. So I wanted to my class, where are you? Teacher Garant, I'm here. Give me a moment. Okay. Had June already the gift of giving? Thank you, Mr. June. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's get started, you guys. Glad to see you guys here. We're gonna go through some fluency tips. I think we're on part two. I kind of lost track because I get zoned out, you know. So um, I have my list here. It's going to be a short class, maybe a short word of the day. Ken, hello. Wow, you guys are like card tape blanche. Complete freedom to do something plus it. The landlord has given her a a carte blanche to redecorate the living room. That must be a British term <laughs> or some old English term. Haven't really heard that before. Hello, you guys. Good morning. Um, let's get right into it, you guys. It's just going to be a short live stream class. Uh, I won't do a hop on. I'm trying to do a YouTube live video. So I'm trying to. Yes, it's a very beautiful day. Thank you. Um, so it's just going to be a live stream. So Basu, it's just going to be a live stream. Nobody's going to hop on right now, not even my subs. So um, because my lunch is going to be here in like 20 minutes. So I want to get through this as quick as I can. And then I'll do like a part two maybe after I'm done eating my lunch, which will include hop-ons. So, Basu, good morning. Thank you for joining my class. Keep keep up the good work. Keep visiting teacher streams. And you're at level five, that's wonderful. So keep, keep on the streams, you guys, and keep visiting teachers and subscribing, following. All right, so, ooh, who is given? Advance. <laughs> my lunch isn't here yet it will be here soon um we're gonna get on to part two or part three or i don't even know what part we're on i just thought it was part two <laughs> because i get sidetracked you guys i guess i have so much to say now you're hungry it's your lunch time anyway right ken i'm getting um pork rice and i have my drink so anyways so um Let's kind of recap some of the highlights of our list here. Uh, we talked about use it or lose it, right? Use what you learn. Hi, Himashu. Very nice to meet you. And we're on our way to a 2.5K. Uh, so my goal is to hit 2.5 by next Friday. Hi, Elaine. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am from America. Nice to meet you. Nice. Enjoy your breakfast, you guys. 
So I'm also keeping an ear out for my lunch as well. Hopefully he doesn't call me because I don't know how to tell him in Chinese to look at his map. I'm not in the US. I'm actually an English teacher in China. So it is my lunch time. So it is noon, 12 o'clock at noon, 12.07 p.m. So use it or lose it. Um, if you are learning something, be sure that you're using what you learn. If you're learning it and you're not using it, then it's a waste of time. If you're learning to speak English, but you're not speaking English, then it's a waste of time. All right. That's the one thing I always want to emphasize. Use it or lose it. Teacher, how can I speak English quickly? Use it. Don't do this whole baloney, well, blah, 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 I'm poor and speaking English. Well, then why are you studying English if you're not going to use it? So let's move on, you guys. Um, <clears throat> okay. Record yourself reading material. Yeah, well, no, it's not about that, Ken. Uh, about not about speaking fast. It's yeah. It, well, people want to like speak English overnight. Everybody thinks they want to speak English overnight, but it's impossible. I cannot speak Vietnamese overnight. I cannot speak Arabic overnight. I cannot speak Japanese overnight. All right. Uh, here we go. Record yourself reading material that you want to learn, then listen to it throughout your day. Yeah, 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 exactly. You're always speaking at a moderate, on a moderate rate. He's an excellent learner. He, he's honestly, he, he's a, <laughs> this kid, you guys, is one of the best speakers. He can outspeak most of the adults on this platform. Yeah, record yourself reading your favorite book and then listen to it, okay? Use the same technique as above, like record your journal or whatever. I would recommend that everybody record a journal, a daily journal, create a YouTube channel, and we'll create a stream, and I will let you share your videos. Rayet, it's so good to see you. I <laughs> see this through. Well, it's going to be a short stream because my food's going to arrive in like 20 minutes. So I'm keeping an eye on it right now. As you can tell, ooh, he might, oh, he's almost at the, he's almost at the market. So you can see that little mark here. You can see that little mark. He's coming to the store, right? So he'll be picking up the food now. And I think the store is not far away. So, oh, I have the hiccups now. Um, everybody's going to think they speak poorly when they listen to themselves. But Ken, I'm telling you, you speak better than a lot of the adults here. So, um, and these, and people who, who say otherwise, more than likely, Ken, they're 30, 40, 50 years old, sitting on the couch, don't have a job, living in their parents' basement, and they think they know everything. And they won't want to start judging people's English. And they don't even judge themselves. And when they're judged, they have the harsh reality that their English sucks. So these are all for the 30, 40, 50 year olds out there and go, you can't tell him his English is good. Don't lie to him. I'd like to see you speak English. Anyways, let's continue. Uh, memorize, okay, talk yourself through processes, right? Think about things you might do that have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Okay, peel the garlic, dice the garlic. Um, through the process. Talk yourself through the process. Um, for example, following a recipe when cooking dinner or putting together a piece of furniture, these, pe th these processes are opportunities to improve your English speaking skills. 
All right. Why, write out instructions for the process in English. All right. Not in your native tongue. Make it simple. Yeah, yeah. Go eat something, Ken. Go eat your lunch. Enjoy, enjoy. Natives will never, natives not so much. Native speakers don't judge people so much. It's more likely, more likely you're going to have a non, and I'm sorry, this isn't a fact. This is just what I've seen. Non-native English teachers or non-native English speakers are going to be more likely to judge you rather than a native English teacher. Or in the case of another situation, in native English teachers are more likely going to judge non-English speakers or non-English, non-native, sorry, you guys. Native English speaking teachers are more likely going to judge non-native English speakers who want to question the native teacher in a harsh way or not or native english teachers are more likely going to judge a non-native english teacher who says their way is right that's how it's going to usually be so <laughs> i hope that makes sense um so when you're talking yourself through the process you guys Make it simple as possible and number your steps for cooking something. Your instructions might start like peel the garlic, dice the garlic, peel the onions, slice the onions. So talk yourself through the process. Once you have your instructions, follow them, okay? Follow them. In the meantime, say what you're doing out loud. I'm cutting the onions. Oh, my eyes are starting to water. They are. They're superstars. And Sana is 16, too. I didn't, I forgot about that. So Sana is 16, and Ken is, is, uh, is the age he is. And you guys are, you guys are the, the future. You guys are going to be the ones teaching the adults in Hollow. I guarantee it. They're going to be looking to you for advice. And you guys are already giving advice. <laughs> so I'm sure you can be one, Sana. Just just give it time. When you're when your English is close to perfection, when your English is 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 beyond fluent and understandable, you're gonna do perfect. Okay. So they will help you talk continuously without having to stop and think about what to do next. So if you're saying the instructions out loud, you're going to be fine. Give me a moment, you guys. Ah. All right. Still on the way, you guys. See? Still on the way. I don't need to read Chinese to know what's going on. Uh... <laughs> yeah, Basu, just coming up for the first time. You've done wonderful. All right, so let's talk about another tip. Uh, Alia, hello, welcome. Um, and really quickly, uh, Vance, um, I, I could told you, I, I pretty much unblocked everyone on my list. So everyone is welcome again. And if somebody is being trollish, I'm going to leave it up to my superheroes to tell me whether or not they need to be removed. You are my superheroes. I trust you with all my heart. I'm going to focus on the class and trolls who want to be dumb. Um, we won't feed them. You just tell them me to boot them and they'll be gone. So memorize conversation starters and use them, OK? You might miss out on an opportunity to practice English speaking if you can't think of anything to say. An easy solution to this is to memorize conversation starters or ideas for beginning conversations. You can find these online. Ah, there's a whole list of conversation starters. Maybe I'll do a class on conversation starters. Would you guys like that? 
to have a class on conversation starters. We can make that another lesson. Okay, M make sure you write that in our subscription group and I will make a note of that. So if you guys would like a class on conversation starters, make sure you notate it in the group. Okay, because I'll forget, I'll forget to do that. So conversation starters, I can definitely do a class. Maybe I'll do one after I have lunch, I'll do a class on conversation starters. I could even be a little bit more inclusive and only make it a subscriber, a subscriber um, class. <laughs> I don't know how many people will be free in about three hours or two hours or an hour maybe. I'm not gonna eat for that long. So I could probably hop back on in like 30 minutes after I'm done eating. So conversation starters, I'm making a note of that. So. There's a full list. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but there's a link that says 250 conversation starters, but I'm not gonna go through all 250. I'll probably go through maybe 20 or so. <laughs> so um, let's talk about the last tip here about, about ourselves when it comes to speaking English well, okay? So the last tip here is to share your opinions online all right yeah i'm gonna well, once my food comes uh once the food arrives uh, which will be here in about maybe 10 minutes um <laughs> i don't know if you guys want me to make it a sub only class i'll do it we got enough people to make it a sub only class so i can make it a premium yeah 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 Share your opinions online. To really learn English speaking, you need to learn how to express yourself in English. Even if you have no idea for conversations, it can be hard to know. Hard to put them into your own words, but you can practice them by participating in conversation on, conversations online, posting on social media, leaving comments on articles, writing reviews, um, etc. So, well, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Written or spoken. Um, like if you read an English story or English novel, you can express your opinions in English, okay? Or on YouTube. June, thank you. You are. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, June. Thank you, June. Who wants to be a superstar like June? June is awesome. Always, always awesome. All right, so. Um, let's see what else I have in my little cheat sheet here. Um, who? Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who? Thank you so much. You're awesome. Thank you so much. Who? Thank you for being a superstar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're awesome. You're very, very awesome. Thank you for enjoying my class. This really helps me, you guys. I love doing this for free as well, but I love, this is a good help for me. It really does. It really does help subsidize my uh, a side job. You know, so it's really, it's a really, it's a really good uh, supplement income. So now you guys helping me by subscribing. You know, you guys, it's it's 300 coins to subscribe and you get pretty much unlimited classes with me. I'm going to be doing things probably daily. So thank you so much to enjoy your lessons. All right. So I'm going to talk about, um, let me double check my phone here. Let me see something here. I think he's very close. Give me a moment, please. All right. I think he's almost here. So I might not, I may not be uh, continuing. Let me see here. Ah, oh, pick up goods. That's weird. It so says he's going to pick up goods. Okay. Well, maybe the goods are still being prepared. All right. So. Um, let's talk about part two here is study tips for passing English exams. Now I'm just going to read this article and I'm going to like 
kind of briefly summarize it. Um, so these are tips I found when it comes to studying for your English exams. Okay, so I'm gonna go through some of these, all right? So studying tips for English exams, all right? A little bit different than what I usually talk about, but we'll go through them. Conversation starters will be another class. So we'll get through some of these. So number one is write a timetable. Write a timetable, okay? A timetable. Do you guys know what a timetable is? So it's basically writing a schedule, writing, uh, yeah, write it. Okay, so a timetable is like a schedule. Hi, Julian, for this time. What do you mean for this time? Um, a timetable is really helpful to pass your exam. It provides you framework and revision what you need to do. So basically a plan, a plan, right? You need to have a plan. So the best way, any suggestions you guys about uh, the best way for planning a timetable? What's the best way to plan for a timetable? What's the best way to plan for a timetable? Yeah, yeah. So like, what's the best way to balance everything equally? Like, what are some suggestions you have to balance things equally? I have some notes here, so I can give you what they suggest. But you have to be disciplined, I think, was number one. That's my opinion. You have to be disciplined. You have to be disciplined to, come on. Ah, okay, eight minutes on the way. Uh, well, let's hear what Sana says. Balance everything equally. Um, I think what Sana means is like to not, these apps are not accurate. What do you mean? Hold on a second. All right, so not yet. Eight minutes. It says eight minutes. They're really on the dot. It's at 1232 exact. So I'm guessing you can be here earlier. Anyways, uh, write a timetable and that's the best. So the best way to prepare a timetable is like, is take a diary, an Excel worksheet, or even a hand-drawn grid. Start from the day of your exam. Start from the day of your exam and list the days backwards from there. Next, a separate sheet. Make a list of everything of which you might be tested on. So make a timetable, make a plan for the test, right? Um, for those areas in which you are not really confident, you re you need to do nothing because maybe you're really confident in the past tense. Well, part of your timetable, yes, I think you should take a break. Don't, don't study too much. If you study too much, your brain's going to burn out. Um, so in your timetable, the ones the one things that you like absolutely certain. Maybe you're perfect in past tense. Maybe you know everything there is to know about the past tense. You're per you're perfect in it. All right. Yeah. And um, for those areas in which you are not confident, you want to stress on. You want to make sure that you're doing extra work for them. So try to work for two or three short say 40 minute sessions per day, but remember to build in times for breaks, exactly what Sana said. So make sure you're taking breaks. As you take off the days on your timetable, a sense of achievement comes about, which really helps your confidence. So three times a day, honestly, I would suggest 30 minutes, not 40. That's just me though. That's my preference is 30 minutes. Three times a day for 30 minutes, one time in the morning, one time in the afternoon, and one time in the evening. And then go along your, along your day as normal, okay? 
that's my opinion. And this is not from the original part. The my part was saying 30 minutes and and um and to make it morning, afternoon, and night. That uh, not evening, not night. That's my personal opinion. Maybe after breakfast, after lunch, and after an early dinner or before dinner, maybe. All right. <laughs> Number two is an obvious one. Number two is do your homework. Do your homework, you guys. All right. Let's see here. I'm checking. Ah, he'll be here very shortly. So do your homework. And we're going to end on that note. And I'm going to explain really quickly on do your homework. Everything in your preparation in your exams is homework. But certain types of questions and tasks come up more often than others. Your lecturers will often give you a collection of past questions or you can find them online. It's a great study tip, you guys, to practice getting perfect answers to these questions. So perfect your homework. All right, get the answers to your homework. You can even learn them by heart. Just remember to adapt your answers to the questions that is actually set in a real exam. All right, we're gonna take a quick break, you guys. Thank you so much. I know it was a kind of a short lesson. So actually, we're so we're gonna, yes. Yeah, so we'll continue our study tips after I finish my lunch. And then um, we'll also do a, con um, a conversation starter class for subs only, maybe if that's what the group wants. So until then, you guys take care and love you guys. And we'll see you guys next time, okay? Thank you guys. And we'll hopefully we'll try to do a hop on and try to do the live thing as well. So talk to you guys later, you guys. Bye-bye. Bye, humanity. Take care of you guys. Bye-bye.